doing the best that we can to incorporate a really well-balanced, healthy living overall when it comes to like food, fitness, stress, and sleep. All four of those matter in life. And they can also help progress us in our future growth. Like if I'm talking to the college kids that are about to start their careers and go out into the real world, you know, when you can prioritize your personal health, you can actually progress your career health too. It's the Health in the Real World podcast. It's time to start the show with Chris Jenke as your host. Here to give you everything that you need when it comes to fitness strategies. We keep it simple and easy. It's your roadmap to get healthy. You don't need equipment and you don't need a gym. Just the right strategies to get you fit and trim. The Health in the Real World podcast is sponsored by... Hi, I'm Sarah Kozik, registered dietitian nutritionist, and I want to share a revolutionary supplement I created called Miha Superstar. It's a daily ingestible made entirely from organic plant-based superfoods to optimize your health and promote wellness from within. Use the code below to get 15% off your next star of Superstar. Hello and welcome to Health in the Real World. I'm Chris Jenke, and I'm joined today with Sarah Kozik. Sarah is a uh, nutritionist and works with uh, individuals and families. Sarah, how are you doing today? Good. How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing really well. I really appreciate you joining us today on the podcast. And uh, just to give us a little bit more of of an in-depth introduction as far as uh, who you are and and who you help. Yeah, so I've been a dietitian for over 14 years now. Amazing how time flies. And I work with a lot of families and athletes. I do sports nutrition and healthy living weight management. And so I work with in the Bay Area, but then I also have clients internationally too. So that's a lot of fun. Nice. So you're working with them through like Zoom or a phone call or yeah, email luckily support? I've been, yeah, luckily I've been doing virtual since 2012. So when the pandemic hit, not much changed except some of the technology improved. <laughs> yeah. So that was a positive one. Absolutely. Yeah. And then Zoom kind of took off. So, you know, like you and I right now talking on Zoom and it's become very convenient, very easy, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, Sarah, what is, so somebody comes to you, what is kind of one of the things, the first things you recommend that they do? Uh, And obviously I know it's different. I know it's very customized, but what's, what's sort of the range of, of recommendations that you would give somebody just starting out? Yeah, so a lot of people come to me wanting to, um, you know, lose a little bit of body fat or optimize their nutrition or enhance their lifestyles, you know, because food is fuel to, or, you know, enhance their performance. And so when people come to me, what I do is I, I look at what they're currently doing, and then we make tweaks and adjustments to help them reach their goals. And my main focus is to really instill behavior change because, you know, so many people, they know what to do, but they're just not doing it. You know, it's like, you know how that is, you get that stump. And so it's really great to be able to get them past that stump and help them find their internal motivation and then actually reach their goals just by changing their patterns and habits. And then it becomes easy and they're like, wow, I'm doing it. And now I'm here and I've reached it. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that behavior change is huge. I, you know, I've told clients this, that you know, I could just give you like all this information. I could just give you what to do, like a daily checklist. And most likely you're still not going to do it because you haven't sort of like integrated it into your own lifestyle. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the thing, you know, how many times have we attended something or gone to a seminar or, or, you know, read something online, you know, Google is king. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, I should do this, this and that. Right. But it never happens, or, you know, you file it away and, it just gets lost in the mix. But so that's why, you know, you come to people that can help provide support, accountability, and actually help you get over those little boundaries, whatever's holding you back from, yeah. you know, doing your little checklist. So to speak. Yeah, yeah. Because I think it really does take a lot, especially if you're, you know, in the habit of really not doing a lot of healthy things in your life, it really does take a lot to first to learn it, right? Like you said, just Google is king, right? Go to Google, figure out what I should do. But then I think to, for a lot of people to start actually doing that habit, it's like jumping into a really fast flowing stream. It's like you need sometimes somebody to help you wade in slowly. And then little by little, you can build up you know, a little bit of steam and, um, and it becomes easier. But I think 
day one, you know, working with somebody like you could be very helpful. Right. And it's also hard to figuring, fine tuning it and customizing it. Cause you know, a lot of things online, they're meant for the average person, but they're not necessarily customized. So what works for one person might not work for you or what worked for your best friend might not work for you either. So it's definitely, it's definitely important to work with people that can really fine tune your personal needs and what, you know, what really can get you there. Right, right. So Sarah, you mentioned you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, as mm -hmm. am I. Um, and so you work with a lot of techies, you said. What are, yeah. <laughs> what are some of the biggest things that, that techies have? I would imagine they're working long hours and you yeah, know. you know, well, well, I'm saying everyone's a little bit unique and different, but primarily what I see is people actually skipping meals and snacks and not eating it so that their energy levels drop. And then they depend on a lot of my clients are uh, self-proclaimed sugar addicts. <laughs> and all of a sudden where they're like, oh my gosh, I'm addicted to sugar. And then yeah. they have a, then they, you know, we start to work together and they're like, oh my God, wow. I didn't realize I don't need sugar. Um, so there's definitely a lot of um, uh, low energy, fatigue, mental stress, you know, high. Um, so there's a lot of that coming into play. And then just kind of a little bit deficient, you know, like people are, have deficiencies and, and whatever it may be, um, just due to a lot of the, my clients are already eating organic or eating healthier, you know, um, the Bay Area, luckily, we're, we're kind of blessed with a lot of really amazing food. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just kind of finding those micronutrients that can really enhance their energy levels. Right, right. So um, somebody who does that, you know, goes a long time between meals and maybe has like an energy lull throughout the day and turns to, I don't know, some sugar, right? Candy or soda, or maybe another cup of coffee. What's, what's the recommendation that you give to them? Do you guys do you say, okay, we have to start with a breakfast first thing you wake up or set your timer for every three hours so you can eat, you know, consistently or what kinds of recommendations do you give them? Well, a key takeaway would definitely be between 3 and 5 p.m. Most humans need that afternoon snack. So mm -hmm. I always say set yourself up for success by giving yourself, um, you know, by planning out your snacks on a Sunday. And then that way you have the snacks for the week so that when that 3, 4, 5 p.m., whatever time frame is that for you, you don't go for like, oh, I need the chips or, oh, I need that like pastry or, oh, <laughs> give me the latte, you know? So you already have those snacks set up and then, um, and they're nourishing, they're healthy, they're vitalizing and they're pretty awesome. Yeah, definitely. Do you, uh, when you work with people, do you typically see them consistently for a while? Like one thing I'm wondering is, uh, you know, day one, people probably come to you and they're very motivated. They're like, All right, I have to make a change like right now, uh, six months down the line or a year down the line, you know, what happens when your client is maybe not as motivated, they fall off the wagon? Do you have like a, a pep talk that you give to your clients in that situation? Oh, yes, definitely. You know, because we all have our days or, or things come up, you know, events come up or, or we get sidetracked. And so many times people think like, oh, I, I fell off the wagon, so to speak. I'll start Monday or, oh, I'll start next month. I'll start in March, you know, or I'll start, in, you know, January, whatever it is. And so during those times, it's, it's great to call your coach or, you know, contact your support system, so to speak, to get that jump in. Because once again, like every moment is a brand new moment. Every meal is a brand new meal. I mean, you could literally, if you had like a bad morning, quote unquote, you could have a great lunch or dinner or afternoon, right. evening, you know, so every moment is a new moment to start fresh. Yeah, I like that. Like, you'd have a bad breakfast and then have a really great lunch and dinner and just completely save the day, right? Yeah, roll with it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so Sarah, what, what about you? Like, how did you get into this, this field? Did you, do you have like a story of, of your own personal battle with healthy nutrition or um, was there something that guided you into this? Okay, <laughs> I'm pretty lucky. I'm one of these weird anomalies. My mom and dad are kind of hippie-ish. And um, my mom, for example, would roast potatoes and sprinkle salt on them and bring them to the park for snacks. 
and I was always like oh my god I want chips like look at all those kids like I was like the kid that had all the homegrown earthy food and I was always right. so jealous of like oh my god they got sliced bread you know like I was just so excited when, when I went to other people's houses and but my mom was always really cool like if we wanted a cookie she'd be like let's go bake some you know so I was never deprived so to speak from foods but it was more of just like you know, if you want the cookie, let's make it and let's enjoy it and, you know, and, and savor it kind of thing versus just going to the store and buying a bag of cookies. So we always, have, we were always like that. But um, so I grew up that way. And, you know, food was just always a big family celebration thing too. Like we were, we were always hanging out with friends and family. And then um, actually my first career uh, was in fashion <laughs> um, and marketing and business. And I was just not really satisfied. I wanted to help people. So I decided to go back to school and this is my second career. Got yeah, because I was it. like, oh, I, you know, I love food and what can I do? I didn't even know there was a job as a registered dietitian and, and someone I was um, working one day at my company and, you know, uh, someone, one of my um, relatives had di got diabetes and they're like, oh, I saw a dietitian. I'm like, what's that? And mm -hmm. then that's what made me go back to school and get you know, another bachelor's and master's. <laughs> so, nice. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that interesting? I, um, it's funny when I look back on my own journey, you know, when I was a kid, I, you know, played every sport under the sun and I had no idea that you could earn a living teaching other people how to be active and healthy and fit. Otherwise I would have been on this track when I was five, cause it was just so much fun, but, uh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. So you realized, wow, you know, you could be a registered dietitian. You can have a career with that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, people can pay me to eat food? What? Right, exactly. <laughs> and, and it's like you said, you grew up with it with your mom. So it was something that kind of probably came very naturally to you because, you know, she would just make cookies with you instead of going to the store and, and all that, right? Yeah, and I definitely had to learn all the science in school. So that was really important. Yeah, yeah. Going, that was the, I think that was the exciting part about choosing to become a registered dietitian was just learning all the science and an evidence-based background about the recommendations that we're giving to people. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So Sarah, let's go real big picture here. Um, you are a motivational speaker and you're called into a university for graduation or to like a corporation to, to give a talk. Uh, what's your one to two minute motivational speech to get somebody interested in you can talk about health specifically or go even bigger picture to just life in general, if you like. What's your, what's your motivational talk for them? Okay, I think I'll talk about health in general, just because it's all interconnected, you know? Um, so my big motivational speaking talk, wow, okay. <laughs> all right, what I would say is, first of all, you know, life is all about balance and finding that balance within ourselves. And so it's not, there's no one size fits all. There's no magic pill, sorry. <laughs> there's no quick fix. So it's really about incorporating, you know, doing the best that we can to incorporate a really well-balanced, healthy living overall when it comes to like food, fitness, stress, and sleep, all four of those matter in life. And they can also help progress us in our future growth. Like if I'm talking to the college kids that are about to start their careers and go out into the real world, you know, when you can prioritize your personal health, you can actually progress your career health too. Because when you are at the top of your game, you're rocking it and you're going with it. So my key tip to those, all those university college students would be, remember to try to find some sleep. Remember to take a deep breath and breathe, reduce that stress. Remember to eat and stay fueled. And definitely stay hydrated. And then remember to get outside, walk and have fun and do some type of fitness. Nice. Yeah, I agree with you that, you know, there's a lot of different categories of goals that we could have, you know, health and fitness, career goals, family goals, money goals. I think you get that health and fitness goal dialed in, you're feeling good, you're rocking it. It brings energy to all the other goals, right? Yes, absolutely. And then you have, uh, you're able to see clearer when it comes to making career decisions or money decisions or even relationship decisions, you know, because when you're in a good space mentally, you're kind of nicer to your partners. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, seriously, like when you're, you're not feeling so great, we tend to take out our frustrations on our loved ones. So, yeah. 
yeah, unfortunate, but very true. Yeah. Um, well, Sarah Kozik, I really appreciate you joining me today on Health in the Real World. Um, I want I want to give people uh, a chance to contact you and you know find you on social media or your website or tell us about any programs that you're doing right now. Um, any extra information? Okay. Yes, you can um, feel free to contact me at sarahkozik.com, and I do offer individual coaching, and I also um, do have a. Uh, um, I specialize in sports nutrition too for people that are active and want to, you know, optimize those sports performance factors too. And then also too, uh, you can always reach me out to me. I do have a superfood supplement wellness company, Miha. Now it's Miha, M-I-J-A, and you could always check that out at MihaNaturals.com. Oh, very good. Yeah, sounds good. Well. Sarah, thank you again. I really appreciate you joining me. Everybody go check out Sarah's website. Hopefully we'll have you back soon and we can chat about what you're up to uh, in the future. Sounds like a plan. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for listening to the Health in the Real World show. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. Visit mycorebalance.com to learn more.